Florence, Florence Chan is here, yes. Yes. <clears throat> Bro, you gotta start getting on the Joseph Anderson streams. Sometimes, he puts his dryer on, and then in the middle of the stream, and we don't know when it's gonna happen, the dryer gets the cycles done, and the dryer sings a song, and we all dance and clap together. Sometimes, I even clap along with the streamer. It's great. It's great. Uh... <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I recommend skipping Life is Strange 2. Why? Really? Is this the only good one? The rest aren't even entertaining? Life is Strange 2 sucks. Life is Strange 2 is good. This is goaded. Lamael, this is the good one. This game hasn't been that bad. If you consider the difference in budget, how does this rank to you next to David Cage games? I think this is much better than all the David Cage games. Oh, is it better than Detroit Become Human though? I think Detroit, hot take, I think Detroit Become Human is actually pretty good. Detroit Become Human actually has some good characters in it. The rest, the others don't have any good characters. Like, so, and in this game, there aren't any really good characters, you know? There, there are really good characters in Detroit Become Human. All two of them. <laughs> Marcus, yeah, but all the rest of this game and all the rest of them have cringy, shitty characters like that too. How is this better than Indigo Prophecy so much? Okay, are we talking ironically? Ironic enjoyment? Ironic enjoyment, Indigo Prophecy is one of the best games of all time. The the whole sequence of when we streamed that, of like when he's standing outside on the street, and and you can like, you can cut the tension in chat with a knife as it's like, all right, here we go. <laughs> There is no ironic enjoyment, only enjoyment. Not true. I disagree with those words. You can you can enjoy something for the wrong reasons. And when you enjoy something for the wrong reasons, then I think you're allowed to call it ironic enjoyment. I think that's what that means to me. I'm sorry, Chloe. I'm so sorry. So they just so happened to, to bury me. Rachel in Your their secret hideout spot. Alright, so I have questions, chat. I have lots of questions. <clears throat> King among them is... How did Jefferson get there before them? He didn't... He obviously was. He's there waiting for them. Set up with a with a syringe and a gun ready to go. And he had to had get there quietly or else they would have, like, heard another car in the area, right? So, like, he, he had to have gotten there first. Unless he jumped in their trunk. Ooh... Was he in the back of their pickup truck? And he was like, hee hee hee. <laughs> Polarize. That's not a bad shot there. I like that. I just like how in a lot of media, BDSM stuff is, is usually mixed with psychopaths. It's not cool. Chloe. What? Where? It's a dark room. Okay, rewind. Can't. All right. So here, here's the thing that could make the 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 game story completely irredeemable for me. So I'm putting down the gauntlet. Here is the great vegetables that could happen this stream. All right. If Mark Jefferson is Nathan's dad. There you go. If Mark Jefferson is Nathan's dad, the story is irredeemable. How would that happen even? Exactly. Exactly. I'm not saying he is. I'm just saying, if Nathan Jefferson is Nathan's dad, Nathan Jefferson, Mark Jefferson is Nathan's dad, irredeemable. God, I don't remember anything that happened. Oh man, it's a, it's a trolley problem. This must be the same drug Nathan used on Kate. Thanks, Kate. I promised I would never go back in time like this again. But this is the only way. Uh, excuse me? Oh, so it's any photograph. How does she know that? Oh, it's her! I thought it was Kate. Sorry, sorry, my bad. Highlights your purity, see? The slightly unconscious model is often the most open and honest. Vanity. Oh, now he has his his real psychopath voice. God damn it, media! Why? 
As soon as someone becomes evil, they're like, oh yeah, now I talk like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah the photograph, I'm afraid. I've been pretending all along to be normal. This is my real voice. Yeah. You think this is not pre-recorded? Oh, this, I got you all. This is pre-recorded right now. This is just a bit. I'm not really playing this game. Joe is not real. You fucked up my <sighs> shot. But please don't worry. We have all the time in the world. For now. For now. I knew you were special the second I saw your first selfie. <laughs> yes. I still hate that word. Selfie is a weird word. But I love the purity of your own image. It's just too bad you're so goddamn nosy, Max. But this room is under 24-7 surveillance, so all I had to do was text you from Nathan's phone. Yep, you keep going. And you fell right into my hands. Oh, surveillance. You really should have focused on school. David Madsen set this up. Detecting with your little friend. David Madsen is a bad David Madsen. And then we did inquire front about it. Yeah, I set the surveillance up in that bunker, but I didn't know what he was doing down there. I think every every person has a right to, to decide if they want surveillance in their own home or, or bunker out in the middle of the woods, don't you think, Max? Yeah, you know what, David? That's a good point. You didn't know what was going down in there. You know what, David? You're all right. All right. Okay, cool. Maybe a new dose will calm you oh, down. No. No. <laughs> Now don't move, or this will hurt much. Stupid bitch! Stupid bitch! You just don't listen, do you? In fact, you never did hear much in my class. If you had, you might have seen all this coming. Remember my number one rule. Always take the shot. I don't remember him saying that. Oh, that was a flu shot. Now I'm gonna get the flu again. Curse you, Mark Jefferson. <laughs> no! <laughs> Wait. Jefferson couldn't handle stains on his photos. Good. Now I can use them. For competitions? Damn, she's still hustling. Whoa. Luke. I'm definitely more awake in this photo. I could try this one. This might work. Please work. I really like that shirt. I'm getting some spectacular images here, Max. Oh, you're welcome. Mr. Jefferson, why are you doing this? Oh, Max. I'm so glad you asked that question. Simply put, I'm obsessed with the idea of capturing that moment. Innocence evolves into corruption. That shift from black to white to gray. Oh, that's so gross. Most models are cynical. They lose that naivete. However, some Blackwell students carry their hope and optimism with them like an aura. And those lucky few become my models. My subjects. Yes. You're a psychopath. And this is your last You're session. You're a psychopath that snaps for money. Au contraire, Max. <laughs> I'm so sane that nobody knows what's happening to you right now. That's a sign of sanity. You killed Chloe. You killed Chloe. You murdered my best friend. No, Nathan did. She had a loaded weapon. This was clearly self-defense. That's, that's, that's true. what happens when you play with guns. You will not get away with this. I want you to know that. Then why did you blame David Madsen for stalking Kate? Of course he was the only person who was about to find out the truth. Irony. I do know that the Prescotts are going- See? David! I called it, man! People in chat being like, Joe, what the fuck? Exa David! Unsung hero of the fucking- of the game. Completely right in every way. What the fuck? People, people in chat going fucking like, holy shit, I can't believe he's still doing that. Fucking David, man. You used Nathan. I prefer the term manipulated. Like with an image. Nathan's was easy to twist around. Why are we doing this, Mark? A sort of father figure for Nathan. <gasps> oh my god, it he is his dad. Teacher-student relationships. It was kind of 
touching for a while. Did you tell him everything about your plans at Blackwell? Not everything. Don't be stupid, Max. I told him what he needed to hear. Rachel Amber. That's the real tragedy. Nathan thought he could be an artist like me. Instead, the dumbass gave her an overdose. Ah, oh, but why are we gonna die then? Why Rachel? Why Rachel? I don't have time to tell you everything. But she was special. A human chameleon, so many visual possibilities. We had a real connection. Can't wait for her to be in the prequel and she's just gonna be the most basic bitch ever. Where is Nathan now? Dead and buried. After what he did to Rachel, I knew I couldn't keep him as a protege for much longer. You are an amateur. Look at the trail of death you left behind. You can't blame all this on Nathan. I don't care what you do to me. You're gonna die, motherfucker. For Chloe and Rachel and everybody else. I do love your spirit, Max, but you brought yourself- Is this better or worse than the Persona 4 plot twist? This is- I'm sorry, this is a plot twist? I'm- I'm still waiting for the plot twist. Of course it was fucking Mark Jefferson. Where's- where's the plot twist? Okay, this rind is taking Wait. too long. We have to do the- the, the fucking diary, because this is taking so long. Let me go. Oh, you know what, Max? No one's ever asked me that before. Alright, I will let you go. What are you gonna do? My diary. You- you still have my diary. Yeah, I read it. You're Don't crazy. Don't worry. Nobody's going to read it. Oh, phew. He's not that Thanks much of a monster. Thanks for reminding me. Okay, is it gonna get There's burned now? There's nothing more innocent than a teenager's diary. Oh. Here. Look at your selfies. Let's take a picture of you holding it. What a waste of talent. Look at that shot, Max. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, from, from his perspective, why would he think that that matters at all, right? But from a story perspective, that's so funny. Forced. Like, come on. <laughs> why are you laughing, Max? Max, why are you laughing? I could frame any one of you in a dark corner. Yeah, the dark room bullshit. Capture you in a moment of yeah. desperation. Yeah. Okay. Shh, shh. I and believe Max, Max has taken has what you kids call a selfie, a dumb word. I'm back. A wonderful photographic trick. Right back where I started this insane week. Okay, so now the question of who Max becomes after the after the time travel jump is actually surprisingly important. So let's say she she's here right now and she finds a way to get herself off of this off of this uh, this future in this room. Does she still go into the bathroom and break the fire alarm, or does she revert back to base level Max? What what is What's the timeline continuum? Is, is there a version of Max that never gets time travel powers and that's the normal version or or what? I don't I don't understand. That's actually really hard to think about. Yeah, I think everything plays out normally so the little things is okay, but but what is normal? There has uh, after the bathroom scene when she jumps back there there has never been a normal Max in any timeline. She's had time travel powers since this moment. So there has there hasn't been one. Time to change time. Winter to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the First, let's make it real easy to capture Mark Jefferson. Yeah, what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna submit our photograph, and then we're gonna end up in San Francisco with him. And before he gets to kidnap and drug us, we're gonna kidnap and drug him. Here we go. I'm gonna submit it to the fucking photograph. Now I'm gonna win. I have to all I need is David's number, and Jefferson is one text closer to life without parole. We're gonna text David? Hell yes. But first things first, I'm the realist. I really have to go and see Kate. I've never visited every, anybody in the hospital before, much less anybody who's tried to commit suicide, so I was happy... Chloe wanted to come along for support. Okay, that's fine. Holy shit, I thought she was excited about going to the hospital before. Alright, so here's some here's some legit here's some what I think is legitimate criticism, not memeing, um, problem that I have with the game. And that is how as it's gone on, more of the choices have become complete completely fake. Um so early on there were choices like, alright, should we bully Victoria back a little bit? 
these these are decisions where it's like eh should we tell the principal about the gun uh, or or like hide it like mm, th these are tough difficult decisions how to deal with kate like oh what's the right answer here like i don't really know or like you might want to see how both sides go like there, there's a way that it could go either way right and you can see arguments for both sides whereas hey do you want to kill a dog do you want to throw that bone into the street and kill a dog? Or do you want to not kill a dog? Hmm, gee, I wonder what I'm going to do. Hey, do you want to kill this guy and kill his dog and on the beach and in the RV? Do you want to do that? Hmm, I don't know. Maybe I don't want to, you know? I'm sure there's a couple more that I'm forgetting because I don't remember all the choices. If it is those two, that actually, the the if it's just those two, though, I will take that the criticism back. But I feel like there hasn't been as many um, as, the, as the, um, the story has gone on. I'm still unsure about him and I can't be so naive to not, not to keep my rewind guard up. I don't know how much about I don't know much about him except that he sells drugs, has a wicked temper, wicked, and that he loved Rachel even more than his beans. <laughs> what so we get so that was that was a meme and they added that to acknowledge the meme but we're as close to the end of this nightmare as possible so i have to block out those images of kate marsh and rachel amber that will be burned in, into my retinas <laughs> my retinas it was two jumps until we got to this one right wait did we jump within a jump oh sh didn't did we did we jump within a jump is that allowed I guess I do that now. Now I feel terrible that I blame David for harassing Kate, especially since he was after Jefferson all along. We could have been working together if David wasn't so paranoid. Yep. David is the one who's the problem. Yep. David is the one who's the problem. If only he hadn't wanted to put up security cam- If only he hadn't been angry that, that that something shit was going down in the school in the first episode, which it was, because you pulled the fire alarm when there wasn't a fire, also you were skulking about, also there was just a gun and someone almost could have also died. Also, damn, he wants to put security cameras up at the school where there's a, there's a, a serial killer teacher that is kidnapping students. Yeah, okay, whatever. For once, David, I'm praying you'll overreact to this as much as everything else and take Jefferson down fast. Mr. Madsen, you're after Ra Rachel Amber. Mark Jefferson is guilty. His dark room is under the Prescott's farmhouse. You know the location, he's sick. Of course I know the location. I set up the security system in that place. Uh, stop him. Message deleted. You wanted me to enter the contest, asshole. So maybe I'll be going to San Francisco. <laughs> and Jefferson, <laughs> you'll be going to prison. You'll be going to prison. Hey, Max. Kate, listen to me. I am. Always remember that you're- <laughs> Not alone. I've got your back no matter what happens. So do a lot of other people. We all care. We're all here for you. You need to know that. Max, that makes me feel so blessed. For the first time this week. Hashtag I, blessed. I don't know what to say. Hug her. That's okay. Neither do I. Yeah. Maybe we could both use a hug. Snap. Thanks. Another one from my cringe collection. You always know the right thing to do. That's right. You did hug me in class that time after the... <laughs> I can't go past these photo boundaries, so... I need to fix everything from here. Photo boundaries? What do you mean? They're just making shit up, huh? Here's what it should have been, all right? There should have been a whole episode devoted to these photograph things. What, her trying to change things. I, man, I would have cut a whole episode of, of, of the, the present timeline story and just like have her try and change so much and she just can't do it and really explore like the rules of what she can make happen. Like, I, I can I really get on board with their like every photograph being a proximity kind of kind of time capsule but saying that now in like the finale of the game oh yeah photo boundary it's like eh, come on we could have explored that earlier excuse me mr. Jefferson mr. Jefferson we need to talk uh. can you see I'm talking to mr. Jefferson now I can no see Victoria kissing excuse ass. us <laughs> nothing new what did you just say hold on Victoria are you okay Max not until Victoria knows that hiding behind a screen and posting videos of people is totally fucked up. You know how easy it is to hurt somebody? To destroy their life? Are you proud of yourself? 
If you have any feelings left, you should think about your actions. Listen, I, I didn't... Of course you did. You're so insecure, you can't even be happy with your own talent. You have to try and bring everybody down to your mean and ugly level. Okay, I do not have to listen to this bullshit. Do I, Mr. Think you Jefferson? Do. Well, it looks like you already did, Victoria. Oh man, Th he's the good Mark Jefferson still right now. Yeah. Here's my photograph for the Everyday Heroes contest. Enjoy it. Wow, oh, that's great. Uh, that was easy. Thanks for the photo, and maybe both of us will be jet setting to San Francisco this Friday. Or maybe only one of us will be going. <laughs> Don't be. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> and then, what? And then, so, uh, you know what I'm gonna do? Delightfully devilish, Max. I'm gonna win the contest, and then we, we, he's gonna think I'm going to San Francisco with him, and then I'm just gonna knock it on the plane. <laughs> he's gonna go off by himself, and it's not until he gets to San Francisco that he's gonna get off the plane and be like, wait. Where's Max? <laughs> and then he's out of town, so he so he can't kidnap me if he's out of town that weekend, right? What the fuck is the plan here, Big Max? So modest, Max. Anything can happen in a week. Oh yeah, anything. Because you're going to find out, Mr. Jefferson. <laughs> what the fuck? Does she know? What are you doing? Uh oh. Oh wait, what? It, nothing happened. Nothing happened. Oh, Matson listened. Oh, arrested. Oh, this this just worked. Uh, hold on. So, so what? She just wanted to win the contest. What does the contest have to do with anything then? Also, I won the contest. La Mayo. God, fuck you, Victoria. <laughs> Did, 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 he, did they bring her out of fucking did, did they bring him out of jail to go to the party to announce the winner all right back in the police car what the whoa okay this plane's crashing for sure this plane is crashing for sure hey chloe okay you're okay max turn you're to your safe right on a plane hi whore Oh, this is I hope really I did everything right this time. Holy shit, you roll Max and so proud of my superstar. Chloe. This is just the start of your career. Oh, you're alive. Okay, again, but which 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 Max did this? What oh, What happened? This is so weird. Okay. It's so weird. Wouldn't you feel like all like like weird there was a different version of you and now you just took over their life? Like it's so it's so weird. Like, oh Be careful. I'm still between realities and I can't focus on this one for too long. What do you mean you're still between reality? So she 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 jumped up from one layer to the layer where she looked in the photograph, and then and then she has to jump up again. But that one doesn't exist anymore. So wouldn't wouldn't she just jump right back here? How would that work? So she she jumped back in time. Oh no no she would jump a little forward right so when she when she jumped back in her first photograph she jumped back say like three hours right and then when she jumped in the other photograph of, uh, again in that photograph she jumped back another no she didn't no so in in let's say let's say in in the beginning of the game before she moved the trolley over it was 11 p.m. on a Saturday right let's just say that that's what it was it was 11 p.m. on a Saturday. So she jumped in the photograph to go back in time, right? Where, when she was talking to Jefferson, let's say she jumped back six hours. So now it's um, 5 p.m. on a Saturday. Then she jumped back in time in another photograph within that jump to the classroom. And now when that happened, oh, sorry. So it's going to be exactly the same. I'm, I'm weird that they're that they're um, that they're even like addressing that. I'm I'm strange. I, I, I'm strange. I'm strange. Joe is strange. I, I'm surprised that they're even going to the effort for that. 
Toon Moon Diner, amid all the environmental chaos in Arcadia Bay, such as the, as the unseasonal snowfall and beached whales. Oh, that still happened. Uh-oh, some residents reported seeing two full moons last night around 8 p.m. Mr. President, there's two moons. I don't, there's, there's, there's also two secret moon bases and they're both fucking communicating with us at the same time and they're, bo they, they're both just floating in space right now, Mr. President. I don't even know what to do. I don't even, I haven't seen my family in three days. And I don't, I don't even have a family before yesterday. The fucking, the fucking moons, like the, the, the oceans, the, it's fucking climate shit. Okay, Victoria. Hi, whore. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed to pick. It's your last one. No fucking way you should have won the Everyday Heroes contest. I bet you blackmailed Jefferson. Wasn't he arrested already before this? You should have used that photo you took of me covered in paint. That's what an Everyday Hero does, right, Victoria? I'm sorry. That's the past now. Thanks, Gandhi, but I'm still going to make you your life hell. All right. Yo, Mass Max. Check this out. I had a little talk with Step Hero tonight. I'm all eyes. <sighs> I like that. God damn it. God damn it. Oh man. All right. It's noon o'clock again because she's stuck at 1201. Since he busted Jefferson, he is totally, a totally different person. It's been very cool and apologize for his behavior. Yeah, because the reason he's been so highly strung is because his fucking David Madsen sense was like something fucked up is going on in this school. Something fucky's going on that, and I need to fix it. And we fucking signed the petition to stop him from doing it and shit. David Madsen is always like, I'm telling you, man. Right, that's so sweet, Chloe. Now you're family again. Whoa, down, sister. I did not cry in his arms, but he helped find Rachel and punish the killer her killers david obviously hella cares about my mom and probably me yes i am hella bored with nothing to do what you doing hippie some of us hippies have homework no shit sherlock and i already did my paperwork for bay city college so the school didn't shut down for like a week or three after one of their teachers got arrested for being that really i hope you take advantage of your status and talk to as many influential people here as possible fuck was that? work the room please don't let I me i don't know I, I feel so weird like I'm a little kid hanging with the adults. Max, after this week, you are certainly not a little kid anymore. In fact, you're a noteworthy adult being honored by your peers. Aww. Now you have to wow. start acting like the photographer you want to be. Hell this is probably a good week for the principal too, right? Because like he no longer has to be under the thumb of the Prescott so much. Although, shouldn't he be worried about funding? I don't know about that. Principal, that was actually really sweet what the principal just said. Like, holy shit. Damn. I wanted to be in charge of a big school someday. So I started taking charge of things when I was young. <laughs> Ask my poor classmates. Great classmates. Max, I'm going to eat up that caviar so you don't have to. <laughs> uh, better get in there and start schmoozing. schmoozing. You know, I won't always be here to take charge. But you come talk to me. <laughs> All right, Maybe. NL. Go, go schmooze. Every... Wait, is schmooze a real word? I thought Northern Lion invented that word. Schmoozing is a real word. <laughs> is it really? <laughs> I thought he, like, he made up schmovement, right? I thought schmooze was... <laughs> is it really a real word? Luke. Damn, we have more people around our picture than anybody else's. Hello, woman. Um, excuse me. I, I just wanted to tell you how much I loved your photograph. How'd you know I'm the person? I've seen a lot today, but there's something powerful and understated in yours. I can't wait to see much more of your work in the future. Oh, man. That was a really good comment. I want to hear it again. Yes, feed my ego. Um, <laughs> excuse me. I, I just wanted to tell you how much I loved your photograph. <laughs> I've seen a lot today, but there's something powerful and understated in yours. Oh, thank you so much. I can't so wait much. to see much more of your work in the future. Yes. Praise me again. <laughs> um, excuse yes. me. I, I just wanted to tell you how much I loved your photo. She's literally in the photo. Her, the today, back of her blurry so fucking help. head is in the photo. Ah, uh, you know what? I, I'm wrong. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah. I'm wrong. Yep. Everyone knows who she is. Yep. I'm sorry. Yep. I'm wrong. Uh oh. Joe just looking about to shoot. I'd rather just argue with my chat. <gasps> Chloe's dead. Oh, come on. Please answer. Max, holy shit, man. Your vision. It's, it's true. You, you saw the tornado. It's coming. 
What? Oh no. Chloe, where are you? Is she gonna have to go to the gallery and use her own photograph to jump back? Chloe! Can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Oops. Oh my god. The tornado was real. Oh, I didn't fix shit. Chloe will die. Arcadia Bay is gonna be destroyed. Okay. I don't give a shit. I'm in Frisco and I'm in- There has to be a way to stop this. No. For good. I'm in Frisco. I'm an artist now. My career is kicking off. My parents don't live there. None of my family lived there. I've saved Chloe enough times. I don't give a fuck. No, uh, no, not not my problem. Not the asshole. Not my place. Not my not my problem. Sorry. Your tornado. Your tornado. Your rules. No fucking way. Now that I'm looking at it again, just to return to the topic. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to return to the topic like this. All right, but I really I, it's important to me that we figure this out. Okay. All right. If you did mix the the regular meat and the lean meat, the extra lean meat together, I think if you had if you got the ratio right, I really do think that you would have lean meat. <laughs> Please no. I, I have to be in Arcadia. And you would effectively Chloe. have lean. <laughs> going on now it feels like reality is breaking apart oh. what am i doing to time eskel is this normal eskel my previous timeline was so perfect i'll accept that i need to be in arcadia bay not san francisco um what was the plan max I just have to make one simple change, so I won't end up in San Francisco. Simple. <gasps> no! Oh well. Sorry, San Francisco. Chloe comes first. Oh, damn, now our ploy on Mark Jefferson isn't gonna work. Damn, it really was just to win the contest. Wait, what? Uh oh. Because we didn't win the contest, he. G <laughs> Here I go again. <laughs> She's gonna wake up dead. Oh, fuck. God, no. How? I'm back here again? I thought I fixed everything. What did you say, Max? What? Hi, whore. Answer my question. Kick him in the balls. Eat shit and die. Fuck you. Eat shit and die. Eat shit and die. Kick him in the balls. Good answer. Too bad you pissed away your gift. You could have won the contest, but you destroyed your own beautiful photograph. What a waste. Sorry, I burned all your. Why would that matter? Is it gonna explain why it matters? I got a little carried away. Fuck. You he know, burned my diary. Always. That's why I'm still here. Wait, what? What do you... I'm confused. Especially since you've developed from nerd to hero within a week. There's something... weird going on with you. Whoa. So she couldn't rewind to text the dude in the first jump. Then how did we jump back and rip the photograph? And also, why did he burn it? I missed that. But... Uh... Okay, I can almost kind of feel how this could make sense, but it's bringing up bigger questions of, as if, like... So if the continuity, if the timeline is that she's jumping back to change things and those changes are canon, then that also is bringing up further problems that she wouldn't have to jump back in some timelines then so if she doesn't have to jump back in some timelines uh, th then those timelines wouldn't happen uh, like no this 
that doesn't really there's something wrong about that i'm gonna get a nosebleed i'm gonna get a nosebleed like something is wrong about this something's wrong about this i think please don't do this This final dose won't hurt. Me. It won't hurt me at all. What? David! No, David! Oh, no! no! Jesus! David Madsen! He's out cold. Good. I always hated that fascist fuck. Everybody at Blackwell did, right, Max? And I promise you, no more nosebleeds. Wait, hold on. Can I... Can I please ask you for one last... David, be stealthier! Request. What? Oh, you got me, Max. How can I deny that face? Turn off the lights. <laughs> can you... Can you play some music? Turn off the lights! Would you mind turning off the lights? They make me squint, so I won't look good for the shot. Now, you're thinking like a real photographer. Also, can you put on some music? And I don't want your last memory to be bad lighting. Also, can can I have some water? Wow, that made a difference. I promise. This final dose won't hurt. What? Wow, exactly the same time, even though the conversation length was different. David, watch out! How? How did you know that? <laughs> <laughs> David, what? Jesus. The David Madsen. He's out cold. Journal time. Oh, yeah, the journal. Man can't believe I'm back here. Oh, it's burned. Oh, that sucks. What? Okay, let's warn at a different time. Right when you come- No! Okay, why aren't we experimenting with different ways to, to, to warn him? Like, David, stop a second. David, he's, he's right around the corner. David, watch out! Max, you're so dumb. How did you know that? Wow, we rewound it. Okay, so some water. Water's not gonna do shit. Play some music. Could he please at least play some music so I can drift away? Sure. Even at the end, you're still a dreamer, Max. It's a nice trip. Oh, he's so nice. <laughs> Wait, now he's not gonna hear David come in, so he's gonna fucking inject me. No! No! Okay, we'll kick him in the ball. The timing is the same every time. No! Oh, fuck off, game. Hold it! What? No, I need I need water too. I, I don't I don't understand what I'm supposed to be doing here, chat. I feel like there's a prompt missing. All right, I guess we ask for the water. Uh, excuse me, but my, my throat is scratchy. Can I please have some water? Of course. I don't want you to be uncomfortable. I promise. This final dose won't hurt. All right, as he walks away, use your foot to like slam him with the trolley. It's a trolley problem. Let's go, 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 let's go. Hit him with the trolley. What? Hit him with the trolley. Max, what the fuck are you doing? David, watch out. Yeah, because my throat was not parched. He heard me more clearly. Here we go. Okay, I don't know what to do. <laughs> oh, no. What no the gun. Fuck? No balls. Jefferson, it's over. You are not going to stop me. Oh no! David Matson! 
Of course. Well, this is what you get for playing cop. A real bullet. <laughs> okay, what am I supposed to do? I don't it's know. over. You but are not table. going to stop me. Use. David, kick that table. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> David, pull the cable. We could have done that this whole time. Oh Lord, Max. Now what else can we make him do? Are you okay. Are you all right? Don't touch me, can you fascist. Move? You want to yes. put cameras around the school? Thank you, David. Oh, Thank Max, if only you hadn't signed that petition, we could have had cameras around the school. I could have found you sooner. That's what you get. Thank you. No, thank me. You brought me here. Wait, what? How did I bring you here? How did I bring Let's you wrap here? Up this How did I bring you here? First. How? Excuse me? How? Info? How? How did you bring me here? What? He won't be going anywhere when he wakes up. You don't remember? You what what don't I remember? The chat stupid and the text went through. Then what the fuck? How the fuck did did not winning the contest mean that he didn't get arrested? What the fuck does having the winning the everyday heroes contest have anything to do with fucking David Madsen having the fucking fucking police investigation in order to fucking like get him arrested? What the fuck do you mean? He still got the fucking text message. There's no fucking way. What? Why did he only come today? Going to prison forever. Or worse. Good Mr. game, Jefferson. Though. Expelled. Now it's your turn to be captured in a moment. Save Chloe. He burned everything, including all of my photos. Oh no. Wait, there's gotta be at least Warren. one. Warren! Yes! I, I can use that picture he took of us. Oh, that's relevant, actually, after all. Okay. Look at this place. It feels like hell. Uh, Jefferson was going to kill me. You got here just in time. I'm glad. I always suspected that son of a bitch. I never did. You suspected everybody. I never did. You kind of suspected everybody. Yes, and this is what I get for wasting all those hours on the Prescotts. They're an upstanding family. too wide. Lack of focus. I know the feeling. I guess I look just as suspicious when you told Principal Wells that I was harassing Kate Marsh. And I don't blame you. And Max, I treated Kate like shit. Oh, he's a good David Madsen. I know she's a good person, but I'm not. That pervert was pulling all this shit right under my nose, too. I could have stopped him and Nathan if only... I wasn't so stupid. No, I... I should have told Principal Wells Nathan had a gun and, and almost used it. I put the school in danger. We all make decisions we regret. But if only you had won the Everyday Heroes contest, Max. That would have been the slam dunk that cracked the case wide open and I would have caught him before now with the cops. If only you had submitted that fo- I have to admit, I'm impressed by you. And Chloe. And your investigation. I had all the high-tech toys, well. You had each other. I mean, I can travel through time. She learned from you. Eh, let's give it to him. Maybe she learned from you. I think she only learned how to hate my guts. I promised Joyce I would go see a family counselor. Uh, I'll start by apologizing to Chloe. I don't expect her to call me dad, but maybe she'll stop calling me step douche. So where is Chloe? She's dead. Tell the truth, hide the truth. I, why would we hide the truth? Let's tell the truth. David. Oh Please. shit! We're rewind. Oh no! <laughs> I thought we were. It's dead. This isn't happening. 
It can't. Why would we do that when we're about to rewind? Oh, God. Why would we do it to the man? Not Chloe. When I was so close to finding out the truth. Oh, yeah, she's, she got shot in the head here. Yeah, sorry, I got confused. I promised Joyce that I would protect her and Chloe. How can I face her and explain this? I never even told Chloe that I... I God damn it! You killed my wife's child, you sick fucker! Kill him. You took away my stepdaughter! Kill him. Kill him. Do it. Do it. David, wait! No, don't wait. Do it. Yes! Completely justified. Do it. Do it. Faced and mad pilled? Chloe. I'm sorry. Joyce. I failed you. My family. You didn't fail. You did your best. Now, now David's gonna get arrested. Well, first of all, we're rewinding, so it doesn't matter. Like, and I, by rewinding, we're jumping the photograph. Second of all, there's no way a jury would convict him. There's no way, and that's the real thing that matters. Life would be ruined for a bit, though, huh? Max, you better get outside. Burn stuff. Good God, it's a studio. All right, be back in five minutes. Roxy provided. Scott's had to know about this. Whoa. Oh, Chloe, I'm gonna save you for the last time. Good God. Bathroom. It's a studio. Junkyard. Junkyard again? So she gets shot three times, so she has three bullets on her on her necklace? Or does the junkyard where we run don't count? What the hell is this place? Let's There's take no it. way I'm leaving your necklace here. Sure. Alright, where's the place to sit and think about what just happened? The Prescott's had to know about this. <laughs> Remember when he kicked the table and Jefferson did no you, kicked it back and then fucking shot him? No uh, more fucking guns. No more stupid guns. Man, <laughs> I'm sorry you had to be here. Alright, let's uh let's lie to him this time. David, um well, she was pretty stressed out, so um she went to go. Um, medicate before I ended up in here. So, she's okay. Oh, thank God. For once, I'm happy Chloe's a stoner. <laughs> David, I, I have to go outside and get some real air and use my phone. Of course. Go on, Max. You're a brave soldier. I'm glad Chloe has a best friend like you. And then as we're walking away, we hear a gunshot. Go on now. You've seen enough of this room. Well, here I go killing again. Freedom! Holy shit. This storm is real. I need to find the ring. Can't wait for it to be actual climate change and nothing to do with yes. travel. It's just a tornado. Th those happen sometimes. Warren, can you hear me? There hasn't been a tornado like this in Oregon, in Port in Arcadia Bay for a hundred years. Damn. Which meant we were overdue for one. This just happens sometimes, way of the world. Never mind. Listen, do you have that photo? Yeah, but why? It wasn't that great a shot. Yes, it is, and I, I want it. Where are you? I'm at the Two Whales Diner. I'm on my way. Come on, that's crazy. Right. You can barely walk on the sidewalk outside. Seriously, Max, stay wherever you are. I don't think the storm's getting smaller. It's okay. Me too. But it's not over yet, Warren. So hold on. Punch the storm. Punch the storm. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna get we're gonna get David, right? David? David, you wanna come too? David? No? No? David? No? Okay, okay, fuck you, David. Alright, stay in the storm bunker. 
Oh, where's McReady? Wait, what the? It's flinging. Oh, I put the sweet 1977 truck off the off the parking lot. Hey, that guy is trapped. I have to help everybody I can. Why? Oh, rewinding. Who cares? I have to get this guy out of here, or he'll die. Hey! Dead body. Death is everywhere. It's following me. Help! Oh, he's pinned to his own truck. Oh, Lordy. Thanks, kid. You okay? Once I get the hell out of here, I've been hauling loads for way too long in this shit old town. I can't believe this is real. You better go now. And I ain't never coming back here. You need a lift? No, thanks. I have to find a friend. You go, girl. You go. Go. <laughs> back under you go. I want my interview. Yeah, put it back on. <laughs> Fuck you, dude. Fuck you, dude. All right. How's it going? Oh my god, what's gonna hit her in the tornado? Okay, Alyssa, what's your what? issue? What, what are you expecting me to do? Catch you? Alyssa is stuck in that house. I have to get her out fast. Go through the door. How did you even get in the room? Alyssa, are you okay? Let me help you down. Off that shit, Max. Whenever you show up, I have to get out of the way. Oh, I didn't see a butterfly. Oh well. What if we never helped her? How can I get out of here? Fused all thing McReady, no! It's no! Dead. Electrocuted. McReady, no! No! Oh no! Oh no! I'm requiring for McReady for sure. Oh my God, McReady, no! Ready, McReady, move! I want to help that fisherman, but he's in shock and he might not hear me. Hey, you look like you you're ready to catch some serious fish. What? I know that voice. You gotta move. Okay, you know what we have to do? We have to kill him, and then we have to rewind when we get in the room. Here we go. All right, here we go. So far, we rewind in the fire. Damn. I'm stuck here unless oh, I'm Oh, that's cheap first. as fuck. That's cheap as fuck. No. We're saving McReady. Oh no. Wow. Like a dead fish. Oh, this can't be the end. McReady. Hey. Come on. How are the you fish? Have to get out of here right now. I need to breathe. Ugh. I need air. Storms. No more storms. Trust me, I'm trying to figure out how. I swear. <laughs> Hi, whores. Max. Oh, Frank's here. Oh, Max. You okay, Warren? How the hell did I ignore all those warnings, Max? The snow? The eclipse? There's nothing you could do. I should have about known it, there was going to be a killer so tornado. so stupid. Why are we even entertaining conversation? Give me the picture and let's fucking go. Who cares? 
Should have seen it coming. Yep. Should have seen it coming. We're gonna make out? No. I'm Warren, just do you think that love can bloom during an E6 tornado oh, warning? God. Not against you. Well, I didn't mean to take David's side against you or Chloe. I know you try to see the good side in everybody, and David needs to try that too, but that's not important now. Um. I just want our lives to be normal again. So is the tornado just the waiting outside, or? Week, I think you're right. And look at me, trying to keep my family together. Again. Joyce, you've gone through so much for Chloe and David. If you were my mom, I would be so proud. Oh, sweetie, thank you. If you were to ask me, it, to me, the timeline of destruction here looks like the tornado moved out into the water rather than is moving in from the water. But your parents should be prouder of you. Even David told me how tough he thinks you are. And he doesn't give out many compliments, as you know. David needs you. David is a hero. Damn, David is I a real David. hero. I don't know what he's gone through in the war. All right, just I can imagine. We're, we're telepathic now? showed me how to find my okay. own strength under extreme conditions. Cool. I am so glad to hear you say that, Max. I know he's not always an easy person to defend. Most people only see him at his worst. You've seen him at his best. And that's the man I want in my life. Bye. All right. I can't Bye, war. To escape. Oh, no, the first aid kit. Oh, well. I hate to say I'm glad to see you, but I'm so glad to see you. That's okay. The important thing is that you're safe. Can't believe you actually drove down here in the middle of a fucking E6 tornado. Just for one photograph? I mean, I know you didn't come for me. I did, actually. Warren, I came for all of you. Just tell me you do have the photograph. I just want... Now shut up and listen. Oh, yeah. You're finally going to tell me what you never did in the parking lot. Love you. I wish I would have. So I'm just going to tell you without any explanation. Why is your mouth not moving? Trust me, okay? I started the storm. I, I think that the storm started... Everything started when I found out I could... Why does it keep happening? Rewind time. There's no way this is just a coincidence, right? Max, not only the storm, but the eclipse. The birds, the whales, everything. All because... Because of me? <laughs> He, he doesn't have the right emotion on his face either for those lines, so it's like, it's like they're making, it's like he's making fun of her, right? It's like, oh, you're not, <laughs> what the fuck are they doing? How? I'm not a real scientist, even though I play when I school, but this seems like pure cause and effect. Maybe chaos. Theory. More time together. You believe me? This is my fault? You believe me? You're my friend, Warren. You believe me, right? I I haven't told anybody else except for Chloe, and, and she can't help me right now. I know I can be a pain in the ass, and, and you've always treated me like a person. Oh, oof, we really haven't, though, bro. We really haven't. We only come to you when we need something. Oh, oh oof. Not, not a beta nerd. I... I told you before that I'll always believe you. I just wish I could trust my powers. I guess we'll never know if it's magic or science. Even if it's from a wizard or a wormhole, you're part of something bigger. I don't believe in fate or destiny, but after this week, I realize I don't know shit. Beta nerd is Andrew Tate's talk, is it not? I do know you're here for a reason. And He's been hitting those videos for I sure. It's up to you to find out why. Max. I'm sorry you got stuck in this. In this, I don't have a fucking clue what's going on. But I have total faith that you'll do the right thing when the time comes. I'm so proud of you, Max. Don't How touch me. How could there be more important moment in history? How dare you touch me? I'm in the middle of it with you. So thank you for trusting me. Thanks for being here. Always. Now give me the photograph. All right. So. Any, any advice on what to do about the space-time continuum thing? You. No, we're not even Good asking. Job, 
I hope those supplies are enough. Okay, we're about to just about more to drive about it here. So to Los Angeles too. Who cares? Hey, be careful out there. Hey, Carlos here. Be careful out there. Oh, we're kissing him for sure. I want a boyfriend and a girlfriend. Good luck. Yes, NPR. Just in case we don't get out of this, I wanted to say. I know, Lauren. You just gave me a boner. I know. Of course you do. Yeah, it's, you can see it. Yeah. For this shit. Come on, Max. Whoa, oh. ghost! Chloe! Zombie! Jesus, dude, what is up with you? I'm just glad we're here together. I guess you need to talk. Alright, we what we need to do is, Chloe, we need to go inside and we need to do everything like we did last time, alright? And then when we drive to the place, what we need to do is we need to look in the back of the pickup truck because Mark Jefferson stows his way his way on there because it's the only way he got there before us. He just like we arrived there, he jumped out before we stopped the stopped the car and he snuck off because there's no fucking other way that he got there before us. So he's there. So as he's there thinking he's being all sneaky, we're gonna shoot him in the head. That's what we're gonna do. No worries. It's all good. I'm Glad you're with me too. What's going on, Max? Damn. We have I to find Nathan right now. He's gonna sorry, me, Warren. To Rachel. Let's go now. Chloe, wait. Listen. I can walk and listen. Okay. Stop and listen for once. Fine, Max. I'm listening. Chloe, you can't go in that party. You're going to. You're gonna die if you do. How do you, you know? used your powers, right? And you fucked around with time, and I died. Not like that. You're supposed to back me up, so there's no way that punk-ass bitch Nathan Prescott is taking me down. Chloe, your best friend has time travel powers that she's demonstrated to you multiple times that are real. And she's telling you, if you go in the party, you're gonna die. Why are you arguing? You're right, he won't. Mark Jefferson killed you. And others. You don't have to be happy- you don't have to be happy about it, obviously. But, you know, take it seriously, Chloe. Teacher? That's bullshit. Nathan is the fucking serial killer. We no, saw the proof. He's not. Now, excuse me. I'm going to that party to make sure he never hurts anybody again. Are you coming? Too dangerous. Nathan is dead. Nathan is dead. And you're in danger. That fucker is already dead? So I did it. Back in my room again. Erasing another timeline. Or does that or does that reality go on without me? Am I just creating knots in time? My biggest fear is that I won't be able to rewind when I when I most need to, or even remember what I've done. And my head does feel like it's going to burst if I keep on doing this. My nosebleeds are a bad omen. Yet I'm here. I can rip up the, my contest photo and still warn David about Jefferson. It just means I won't be going to San Francisco yet. And I have to protect Chloe from one storm. I knew things were going too easy and I messed it all up, as usual. Jefferson was pissed that I had torn up my contest photo freaking out about my wasted talent bastard torched my diary so i couldn't even rewind using my art class selfie yeah i really i really i really don't get it so my whole plan took a shit and i couldn't text david about jeffers what he he torched your diary in class no, no, no. Hold on. So he torched it after he got... Okay, that doesn't make sense. That really doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense whatsoever. So, which is how I ended up back in this evil dark room after I thought I had escaped. How did David show up then? He saw their their uh, their board of, of clues in the room? It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't. I'm sorry. It just doesn't. I understand it kind of feels like it almost makes sense right now. I can see how you're getting there. I really, really can. But it doesn't make sense with how they use time travel in other ways. Yes, Joe, you are entirely correct. I can't tell. When people people are saying this a lot more lately, when, whenever we have disagreements, and I can't tell if it's just people like are actually agreeing or if they're just being like, yes, Joe, you're entirely correct. Let's move on. Let's move on, Joe, smiley face. Let's just keep going. Let's just go. Yes, Joe. Yes, yeah, sure. Sure, Joe. Please. Jefferson killed him. Jefferson hurt me. Jefferson is a psychopath. Jefferson killed him, Wolf. What the fuck? I love Jefferson now. Jefferson hurt me. Chloe. Jefferson drugged and kidnapped me. 
I was tied up in his bunker. You have no idea what hell I went through to get back here. But I couldn't let you die. You brought me back here, and I can't lose you again. I won't. Um, Max, I'm, I'm so sorry. I was the one who dragged you into all this shit. Nobody, especially you, should have to go through that. I... Now we have to stop Jefferson. With one bullet. No, not this way. Chloe, I, I can't keep fixing everything if all I'm gonna do is just break it over and over again. I know how this is gonna turn out, and I'm afraid I'm fucking up all these alternate realities. Wait, alternate realities? What do you mean, Max? What did you do? Okay, don't tell her about your dad. No. Don't tell her about your dad. Or about her dad. Talk about the art gallery and, and everything else. No, not the time. Not the time to bring it up. Okay? I fucked up. Terrible choice. Nothing. All right. T terrible choice. I fucked up. I fucked up, Chloe. Okay. I wanted to make things right, but everything turned out wrong. Max, what the hell are you talking about? Back in time. Nothing. All right. Here we go. I, I was able to go... Why did you? It, it didn't say I'm gonna fucking tell you about I went back in time with William. It just said back in time. I thought she was gonna fucking talk about the other ones. I didn't know it was gonna be like, oh, by the way, I'm gonna do the. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I, I have like fucking the ten of these that I could pick through right now, motherfucker. But you know what? I'm gonna pick the one that deals the highest amount of fucking emotional psychic damage to this girl as I possibly can. Back in time, to the last day William was. You just alive. picked it to be mad. True. I stopped him from leaving, but. But you ended up in a car crash instead. You saw my dad again? You... You were completely paralyzed. And you, you were in pain. You were slowly dying. But you only tried once? You, you asked me to end your life. I did. For you. I, I didn't want you to suffer in any other timeline or reality. I couldn't bear the thought of you in any more pain. God, Max. That must have been... That must have been awful for you. I'm, Whoa. I'm so sorry I had to oh, ask you. Oh my God. That's a... I'm... That's a very mature response from Chloe. Holy shit. Wow. I, I, ooh. Well, that's another plot hole. Holy fuck. It was worse for you. But I... I had no idea what would happen, and as usual, I messed everything up, and I never want to hurt you, ever. You have to believe me. Of course I do. Do you think I would even know how to handle that situation? Nobody would. The important thing is that we're together again. You're right. That's, that's why you should come with me, so we can stay together. And stay alive. I hear you, Max, but do you think we should let Jefferson get away with torture and murder? No. Of course not. If we tell David, he'll believe us and he can actually Wait, stop him. Chloe's eyes? Right? Is, she Is that why you stuck up for him? Is Chloe stoned because right now? Maybe that's us? why she's really? so laid back. David saved me. David cares about you. David was ha David David saved me. Chloe, David saved me from Jefferson. If he didn't track down the dark room, <laughs> Oh. I'd be dead. <laughs> like, all right, I'm cool with you going back in time and seeing my dead dad. Why didn't get to? And you have to see me in a wheelchair, and then I was paralyzed, and you had to kill me. And I'm cool with being okay with the like, understanding that was hard for you. But I draw the line at you thinking that my stepdad isn't a step douche. I, I, you know what? Like, no, I don't. Max, I had no clue. I should have been the one to save you. But I'm so grateful David was there. Oh no, she's okay with it again. So what's your plan? We tell him everything, including that Victoria is in danger. Okay. You've been through so much. I, I believe you, Max. After all, I'm still your faithful companion. Yes, you are. Just found out Rachel's dead, by so the way. So listen, in a few minutes, I won't know any of this happened. Nothing. We absolutely have to stay in your room and do nothing. Then we explain everything to David. And we finally... Oh. 
How does she know that? Let him do his job. You'll have to tell me exactly what I did and said just now. Just explain that I traveled through time using the photo. Will you believe me? I'll always believe you, Chloe. What do you mean? That's how it's worked so far. She never made informed decisions the other time she jumped to the depth. She went back. No, but the assumption could be that she remembers the there's a new max that remembers jumping back that gets to stay behind and she just does the same decisions again right and nothing is exact exactly the same anyway so it's not always going to be uh identical I, I feel like that's a big assumption that the max that's left behind doesn't what the max just blacks out and just is like oh whoa, like like uh, how come that's never happened to us maybe it has i don't know we don't have all the info it's true we don't have all the info it's probably not consistent Uh oh. Yeah. Uh oh. <gasps> oh, Chloe. I see that the real Max is back. So, how was your time trip, dude? Now tell me everything that happened. You you remember, right? Well, we we left the party and made sure Jefferson couldn't find us. For once, I was glad I lived in an actual fortress. Then the storm got hella crazy, and, and you said we would be safe at the lighthouse. Chloe, look. Why? Why would why 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 would you say that? Why would you say we'd be safe for the lighthouse? Lighthouse. The storm is getting bigger now. It's coming closer. Oh, I, I can't even believe this is real. This is happening because and you believe of me. fake Stop Max? Lamayo got her. Stop beating yourself up, okay? We both paid our dues already on it. God, look at that. Look at that monster. Who knows? This could be Rachel's revenge. Our well, it's, revenge. It's, 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 it's called Rachel, actually. The lighthouse is out of the way of the tornado. Come on. Yeah. Chloe. I've got your back, Max. Whoa. Oh no. Alfred Hitchcock famously called film little pieces of time. I, I'm back in class. Yeah, what the hell? Knows. Diane Arbe. Be calm and there you go, don't boy. freak okay. out. Let's text Sam. Yet. Because of her images of hopeless faces, you feel like totally Let's haunted text. by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as Wait, tortured, right? What's going on? And frankly, it's bullshit. Nobody even cares? For that part. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. Every Journal? Maxine, you keep fucking up. How many times does Chloe have to die in front of you? Maybe it would be better to actually, you know, have a life? Find my cat pics, please. My heart is broken. Always take the shot. Take a selfie, ho. Yeah, hi ho. Yes, you're running out of, out of choices. Let's all go to the lighthouse, Max. Why do you want to kill everybody? What did everyone ever do to you, bully? Go fuck your selfie. Go fuck your selfie. All right. Who who wrote this? Max, we have surveillance video of you overdosing Chloe. You cannot escape now. There's no reality where you can hide now. Don't you dare underestimate me. You hear? Good evening, young Max. The squirrels talk to me, but how can you? Samuel has no phone. Hi, Max. Rachel Amber here. Just wanted to introduce myself. I'll be seeing you soon, real soon, because you're going to die. Pomp. <laughs> Have I totally fucked up time? This doesn't make sense. Okay. Game needed way more of this. <sighs> That's awful. Improvement. Zozo. Holy shit. Look at all these dead birds. Oh, that's fucking cool. Uh, this can't be real. Is it in a... I mean, in a fucked up way. Cool. Alright, let's go wipe it off the mirror finally. Why can we move faster in here? This is kind of weird. 
Okay. Hey, Kate. Max, why did you stop me from jumping? Hey, Kate. What kind of friend are you? You never understood me or what happened to me. Now my family will never leave me alone. And that means I'll always be alone. Thanks to you. Kate, that's not true. I've always been your friend. And she's gonna inject us. She's not gonna be in Life is Strange too. <gasps> the <gasps> Oh my god. Oh my god, we're gonna confront the toilet roll goblin. Whoa, there's a whole other dorm in here. The goblins live in large. This hall never ends without me. All right, chat, go ahead and say it. Oh, look, it's Max Caulfield. I'm whore. All right, uh, Victoria Chase's room is down. Who are we now? Oh, God damn it. Look at me, I am Max Self. <laughs> it's a picture of poo. <laughs> ah, that's great. So <laughs> Do you know how much I would have lost my shit if at the end of last episode, instead of it being Jefferson, it, it, it had been the science teacher? Oh, that would have been so good. Science teacher would, like, shoots, just shoots Chloe in the head, steps around, and I was just like, wait, what? That would have been so fucking good. <laughs> You're going to the bathroom for sure, right? Time to get Rachel Amber's soul fragment from the butterfly. Oh, time Don't for try a to hide, Max. time for a stealth section. Here. Let me capture you. Here we go. There are no continues, my friend. Jefferson is coming after me again. No. You used to be so pure, so innocent. All right, finale's pretty now, short. What should we do? How about a die. forced stealth section? All right, cool. I'm, I'm, I'm in. Please understand, Max. The only place I can be my selfie is in the dark room. <laughs> what happened to your spark, Max? So where are we going? I thought I... Hey, Max. Hey, how's it going? Max. Uh-oh. Max! Go eight. Max, imagine if we were in that dark room together. I have. Yeah, I know. Could blame you can't escape my surveillance, Missy. No, he's the bad David Madsen. He's David Batson. Max, Rachel not only gave great headshots, she got you. Excuse me, what was it about to say? She also great gate. Gave great nice. head. Okay, this this was cool, but now that we're here, this is very video gamey well, in a bad way. Too hard to find. Max. What what is this? So the powers that be are like, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna give this girl time travel powers. All right, cool. So she can make Maybe a lot of changes, lesson. right? So no, if she uses them, she's gonna destroy the whole fabric of reality. It's gonna be fucking sweet. Just is there any way for her to not do that? No. Alright, so why are we giving her the powers? It'd be fucking funny. Let's just do it. <laughs> Let's just give her the powers. All of this was to save the budget of them having to, like, like build a, a mountain trail scene that led from the beach up to the lighthouse. All of this. Uh-oh. How long will this nightmare go on? Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking that too. This is taking a while. Oh, 
I think you'd be perfect for my new photo series on retro grunge. You have the same qualities that I loved in Rachel Amber, but not Max. <laughs> Max is a fucking child. Let's hear that again. Max is a fucking child. Oh, Christ, I know. And she never shuts up, does she? I'm so over her hipster bullshit. Me too. I know, I think right? Everyone at Blackwell is over Max. Let's prove it. Huh? I'm not looking. I'm not looking. Holy shit, Warren. Max is trying to play us both. I guess she's not as innocent as she acts. That's true, I am. Not when she's trying to hook up with both of us. Yeah, what's wrong with that? I only want to go ape with you, Chloe. Yes, NPR. Come here. God damn, you are a sexy bitch. Why hang out with Max, huh? Boredom. Plus, she's like my personal puppet. I hear that. Do you want a party? I got a drugstore in my room. Oh, shit. Look at Max spying on us. Take a fucking picture, bitch. Or take a selfie. See, this is how you bust a move, Max. No mosh pit for you, shaka bra. Damn, Victoria. You're a real woman. Not a little... <laughs> I hope she has the dog next. She's she's like a dog on the couch, petting the dog. <laughs> you're you're a way better friend than than Max. <laughs> Girl like Max. I fucking love your tats, Chloe. You're so hot. I can't believe it took us so long to hook up. What is this? Why did you get rewind powers? You don't even know how to use them. True. Rachel's dead and you're still alive. Life is simply unfair. I wish you would have never come back to Arcadia Bay. You're the real storm. Also true. Wait, wait, this bathroom. Big ready? That's what they say when, uh, when you go to McDonald's and they, and you know, you can go get your food, right? It's McReady. All right, so it's this one. Zero, three, one, one. Don't kill us, Max. Oh, wow. I guess I'll never dance again, Max. More people in one scene than God of War Ragnarok. I about to start a new life in California. Who the fuck are you? For no reason, Dana's best girl. Shit, Max. I thought we were on the same team. Now I'll die alone. He's eating Max, those beans. I hope you do the right thing. I hope. I can't believe you kissed me. Now you're going to kill me? Max, Honey, please Honey, I save always us. thought of you like a daughter. And now you're gonna take <gasps> So me this is you. how Max I'm gets her revenge me. on. What Max, you, you saved my that? life. Gave me the chance to catch one more fish. Thanks for that warning, Max. <laughs> Fuck you! <yeah. laughs> Can we hear it again? Max, you saved my life. <laughs> Gave me the chance to catch one more fish. <laughs> Fuck it. Who, who are you? Holy shit, are you cereal? I'm you, dumbass. Or I'm one of many Maxes you've left behind. All right, here we go. Can you get me out of here? No. Oh, so you want help? <laughs> Thought you could control everybody and everything, huh? Twist time around your fingers. I'm the Max that it has to has to stand in after you do your time travel bullshit. There's only two of us. You can't imagine the shit I've seen in the lifetimes I've I've lived. Wasn't my choice. I tried to help. I tried to help. I only wanted to do the right thing. No, you only wanted to be popular. True. And once you got these amazing powers, your big plan was to trick people into thinking you'd give a rat's ass. Okay, yeah, but that's all you let me do with them, though, game. That's all you let me do with them. So, yeah, it's, it's Max. It's not me. It's Max. I do care. That's true. That's true. <laughs> I wasted my power on trying to be friends with everybody. About time you admitted that. But it's way too late after everything you've done. 
but I still have great friends. Great friends? And my power helps some. Please, stop playing innocent. You're a goddamn hypocrite. Save Kate Marsh. You've left a tr- That's true. We did save Kate Marsh. But I'm gonna need three more examples of good things you did with your powers before I let you out of this diner. Keep going. And someday Chloe will destroy- Oh hell, speak of the devil. What up? Hello. Dude, do not even fuck with her head. She knows what we went through together this week, and you don't. There's no way you can break up our team. This is reality. <sighs> After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. I am seriously glad to see you. Welcome home, Max. Fasten your seatbelt. Because I don't drive very well, as you're going to find out later. All right, that was kind of cool. I uh, know it was your birthday last month. This was my real father's camera. I want you to have it. Yes, I, I like shit like this, cool. so this is Thank gonna you. be this more effective on so me. Sweet. All those binders are filled with other victims. Well, it's just like recapping the whole thing, <laughs> seriously. Not. All right, it's a little too much. Step into her body. Max, Max, can you hear me? Please say something. Chloe, I, I must have passed out. Oh, thank God. Don't you ever do that again, okay? I swear. But that nightmare was so real. It was so horrible. Yeah, we're safe here. way <laughs> I, I feel like I took the shot a thousand years ago <laughs> you you could use that photo to change everything right back to when you took that picture all that would take is for me to to <laughs> fuck that no no way. You are my number one priority now. You are all that matters to me. I know. You prove that over and over again. Even though I don't deserve it. I'm so selfish. Not like my mom. Look what she had to give up and live through. And she did. She deserves so much more than to be killed by a storm in a fucking diner. Even my... My step... Father deserves her alive. Wow. There's so many more people in Arcadia Bay who should live. Way more than me. Don't say that. I won't trade you. You're not trading me. Maybe you've just been delaying my real destiny. 
Look at how many times I've almost died or actually died around you. Look at what's happened in Arcadia Bay ever since you first saved me. I know I've been selfish, but for once, I think I should accept my fate. Our fate, Chloe. Max, you finally came back to me this week, and you did nothing but show me your love and friendship. You made me smile and laugh like I haven't done in years. Wherever I end up after this, in whatever reality, all those moments between us were real, and they'll always be ours. No matter what you choose, I know you'll make the right decision. Chloe, I can't make this choice. No, Max. You're the only one who can. You are the beach. Okay, this isn't even a choice. Because it's... You're insane to think this is just going to stop at Arcadia Bay. Like, this isn't even a choice. I really want to do it for the memes. However, it's the ending. And the game hasn't been that bad. It's had some cool moments. Let's respect it. There's only one choice here. Max, it's time. Chloe, I'm so, so sorry. I, I don't want to do this. I know, Max, but we have to. We have to save everybody, okay? And you'll make those fuckers pay for what they did to Rachel. Being together this week. Wait, will you? It was the best farewell gift. Isn't that just changing things with extra steps? I could have hoped for. No, you can't. You have to let it ride. You're my hero, Max. Or else there's gonna be a fucking tornado oh, again. Chloe! I'm gonna miss you so much. You forget about me. Music starts Never. playing. When's Baba O'Reilly gonna kick in? Oh, she almost died! Holy shit! Oh, we didn't have to do it this time. Was that? What just happened? Huh. Okay, get the hammer, pull the fire alarm. Let's go again! It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just count to three. Alright, aren't we just gonna wake up back in the dark room again with Miss, with Mark Jefferson looking at us? <laughs> Isn't that what's gonna happen here? Did we just go into a fucking... <laughs> like, what's, what's gonna happen here again? <laughs> Hold on! <laughs> Don't be scared. You own this school. If I want it, I can blow it up. Wait, jump You're back, the boss. <laughs> so what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. 
Honestly, why would changing the past one time, one last time, fix things? Would it make this one work? Yeah, exactly. That 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 that's the problem. Yeah, this wouldn't. That's why I said before I paused it. I said this wouldn't work, but apparently the story thinks it will work because the story is framing this as as the universe basically gave gave. I, I, this is what I'm thinking right now. The universe basically gave Max and Chloe a gift here that they got to hang out for a bit before she died. For whatever reason, they decided it was it was really important that these two had this time together, and because they because then they can make a game. So it's, it's basically like, hey, this is what it is, and maybe they can solve some right some wrong that's here with, with Rachel going missing or like I don't know maybe it's maybe it's supposed to be framed like oh there's a sense of justice in the universe and what Mark Jefferson was so was doing was so wrong that they just gave this girl powers and she could fix it but also at the same time that that she got to see her friend that would die right now no matter what because that's what the thing in both timelines right that's what I think is going on but um in, in terms of like stepping back from that emotional core that seems to be driving the story in the ending here um, which is not that bad, actually. It's not great, but it's not that bad. Uh, like, stepping back from that, this wouldn't work at all. Because she's a different Max. It, it would always be different, you know? Like, it, it doesn't matter, really. Like, it would always be different. Where did you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! My work here is done. Yeah, the framing of this is totally that the universe just... Gave Chloe and Max a gift here. That's the, that, that's the framing I'm getting. Is like, they get to say goodbye. That's what it feels like, right? Like, yeah, it's like... I would guess more so for Chloe than Max, because Chloe lost her father or whatever. Like, I, I feel like it's like, here you go, you know? Like, this is what was always had to happen, but you get to have this, and, and you know, it was interesting because it made you feel real because you had the time travel powers, but whatever. Like, I, I don't I don't think that, um I don't think Max is going to have time travel powers, like, after this, but maybe. I don't know. I don't think it makes all that quite sense, but, but yeah, I, I feel like that's, that's, that's the framing here. This doesn't feel like a gift because it's reintroducing them to uh, each other only to break them apart in a cruel way. I'd rather have a life of oh wells than what ifs. Albert Nietzsche. Oops. Can we see the the better object? Sorry, the other objectively better ending. Um, not playing the game at all. Sure, yeah, we can do that. Okay, fifty-two to four. Oh, it's actually surprisingly close. Maybe because people go back and reload, or is it this? This is only take your first playthrough. All right. Polarized. That's a pretty good title considering what just happened. So let's um let's rap about it. Here we go. My name is Joe. I'm here to say Max and Chloe are hella gay. They are. And that's great. This wasn't awful. You guys made it out to be, a lot of you made it out to be that this was going to be like more, more Zero Escape, KG, The Room style, like so bad it's good. And don't get me wrong, this wasn't a masterpiece. This, 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 this is no masterpiece. This was no like fucking like, like great piece of art, but it did have some cool moments and some cool ideas. And I think it, it succeeds a fair amount. I don't know if it succeeds more than it fails. I feel like the whole entire story, now, now that I've seen the whole thing, I feel like the whole, the whole point of the story is Max and Chloe's relationship. And that makes a lot of sense now why she doesn't interact with much of, much of anyone else in the whole entire story. Max and Chloe's relationship and this just basically giving them this, this, this time together before she dies. And it's like for Max to reconnect with her friend uh, with missed opportunities, even though Max is an awful person. Also Chloe to have this like this, obviously in both timelines, she just really wanted to see her friend again. She had a lot of, uh, a lot of close feelings for her friend. Um, and she gets to have that before she she moves on, and for whatever reason, the universe decided to give them to give it to them, and that's that's my read on it. There's it's definitely something going on with the blue butterfly and the and the and the blue birds, and, and like there's like a magical mystical area around here. Um, and it turns out that it didn't need them to investigate what Jefferson was doing at all because like that just happens regardless as soon as uh, as soon as um, 
Nathan gets arrested. So that doesn't seem like it's a, it's a thing that was happening. I kind of feel like the whole entire murder mystery plot, Rachel gone missing, is actually just padding. It's complete filler. It's just, that exists as, let's give them something to do. And that makes me think it's also, like, and now my read is like, it's like, give them this adventure, give them this thing to do, you know? Like, give Chloe some closure about Rachel before she moves on, you know? Like, um, even though she doesn't really have it when you rewind, but at least one Chloe got to have that closure. Let's, let's let them have an adventure. They get to be like detective pirates, like they, like, always dreamed when they were kids, like they would have some adventure kind of thing to do, you know what I mean? Um, I think that... They could have done more with that, and I think they could have done more with the time travel. I would have liked to see lots more exploration done with that. But now, again, like, I'm at the ending, and I see the point of the whole entire story. That would change the story into something else. And it's clear to me that they wanted this to have this, let's have an emotional connection between these two characters and explore this, uh, them reconnecting their lives. Like, almost every scene is all about Chloe, right? It's like Max and then Chloe, Max, Chloe, Max, Chloe, Max, Chloe. So, yeah, it would be a different game and a different story at that point, and that's clearly not what they wanted to tell. But uh, in terms of uh, like production, uh, I thought that it needed a few more different environments, but uh, someone in chat uh, two streams back said that this was made on like a shoestring budget. I don't think it actually was made on a shoestring budget. For the scale of the game was probably a very tight budget, but um, this is definitely not shoestring budget. Uh, voice acting was pretty good. Uh, presentation was pretty good. Uh, music was a hit, a hit or miss for me, but in especially the party scenes or whatever, but it was, it was all right. Um, writing was switch between kind of so cringe and funny that I'm not even sure if it was on purpose. Like, ironically funny to unironically funny. Like, ass biology. Like, what the fuck is that? Like, the characterizations of a lot of, a lot of them are, are really weird. Like, Max is kind of awful, but then she's a teenager, so she's gonna make mistakes and stuff. But, you know, having them voice her intrusive thoughts is very strange, and maybe not the best thing you could possibly do. Chloe grew on me a bit as it went on, and she's in a bad place. I don't really judge her too harshly. Like she, she lost her dad in her early teens. That's so going to be rough. And then she doesn't like her stepfather. Also pretty rough. I like that David was was pretty good all along, and he was making the right decisions. He just wasn't going about it in the right way. He was also flawed. Feels like that sums up almost every single character. Well, every character except for like Mark and maybe Nathan, is that they're just trying to do their best and they have their flaws and they and they can't help but be held back by them. Doesn't excuse people like doing shitty things, of course, but at least you can understand it. Yeah, I like this. This is pretty good. I don't think that the, the time travel makes perfect sense, but it makes sense enough that it, I don't have a huge issue with it like I did in, in Steen's Gate. What are your favorite means from this? Uh, my favorite is the... NPC that is acknowledging that you just said the right dialogue line. You're right, I did need to hear that, but please continue and say four more nice correct options for me before I will give you what you want. Like, I think that's my favorite, although I think High Horror got wrung out a little bit. Equal Skek was pretty fun. Did the emotional beats hit for you? Not really. At the very end there, when it was like like solidifying that, okay, this the whole point was to give these two, these two characters their moment, um, I felt that, that that worked on me a little bit, yeah. Is it better than cage writing? Oh my god, yes. Joe is the best chapter in your opinion? Um, I think chapter... 2 or 3. 2 or 3 was the best one for sure. I would say 4 was the worst one. 4 was by far the worst, even though it started out interesting, but no. 4 was the worst. And I would go 2 and 3. So, so worst tier, chapter 4. Next tier up it would be one or five, and then uh, top tier would be two and three. That's how I would rank them. I don't know where I would rank them individually if I had to, though. Beerger or McReady? McReady all the way, man. I'm a McReady stan. What are your expectations of what story Before the Storm will cover? I have no idea, actually. I have no idea what it's going to cover. I hope it's not just going to be more information about what happened to Rachel and, like, the shenanigans that, that Mark and Nathan got into. Before Storm gives a little more depth to click. I kind of don't, I kind of nervous about playing it because I feel like it's going to add a lot of context to this that it's going to make it worse. Like, damn, what's that going to be like? What story is, is going to be there for Before the Storm? Uh, I don't know, we'll, we'll, we'll see it. Maybe it has some cringe in it. Might be, might be fun. Before the Storm was not made by the original devs. Oh, so it might be good then. All right, good. <laughs> This is truly an unjust game. But if my voice is reaching you, 
There may yet be a possibility open to you. You know what? I think you both would agree, though. Two chatters, two different messages, both agree on everything. <laughs>